Booyah Fishing Neck Davinos, July the 23rd. We've got this alpine lake nestled in the shadow of the mountain back here. Hopefully you can make it up. We're gonna traverse this hillside. A little dangerous, we got some snow, uh, some snow packs here so that we're gonna have to miss. I'll see you down at the lake. There's gonna be some phenomenal fishing down there. We'll show you what we're gonna gear up with and we might push the pack right off. Let's do this. So a little PSA when you're walking these kinds of slippery rock slides and cliffs and you're alone especially move really slow move really careful make sure you wear shoes with or boots with solid grip and now of course stay off the snow you never know what's going on in the snow how deep it is if it's hollow underneath if you're gonna slide so it's best just to stay off of it well, it looks like we're gonna be fighting a wind we're gonna talk about what we're using today we got two ugly sticks one's a six foot this is the six footer we're gonna be tossing with six pound test uh, one eighth ounce woolly bugger jigs and maybe uh, spoons cast master spoons and then we've got a slip bobber here that I can adjust the height of the bobber because we might fish this deep and I've got a really 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 long this is a six and a half foot rod so down near six and a half foot or at least six foot leader we're tossing the one eighth ounce jig all right we got our bobber out there a little bit further a little bit deeper let's see what happens so far nothing which has surprised me last uh, i think it, mid to late September, I was up here with my buddy, Will. We were getting bites, boom, 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 right away. We're out in the middle of the lake. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is a massive, massive massive boulder so big it's quite deep down there some of these rocks that came out here are just mind-bogglingly huge looks like it's very deep out here like super deep well, so far this wind has made our life a living heck constantly adjusting the wind is just blowing me wherever it, whatever direction it to and fro it go it's very, very frustrating. This is not fun. <laughs> not fun at all. All right, guys, we actually got a hit. Can you believe that? We got a hit, and the fish chased right up to the boat here, and of course my GoPro glitched out. <laughs> but, as I kind of suspected, these fish are probably packed in down here to spawn. They get the outlet stream right over there. Excellent. We might just win. I've got 27 things going on here. I don't think any of the things I'm doing are gonna turn out well. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. oh, I got off. Had one again. Similar-ish area. Oh. Well, they like this jig. Get him, get him that time. Got him, all right. Told you they like this jig. Perfect, oh, it's a nice size one. All right, Woo. Now we're in the business. Now we're in the business. Now we're winning at life. All right, that's awesome. We did it. We came, we had problems. We figured out solutions to those problems and now we've won. And I suspect we're gonna have a nice good feeding frenzy. Oh, that's a nice fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. What a beaut. Head looks a little big for the body. Looks a little bit malnutrition. Look at the size of a head. That's an old fish. Definitely a little bit malnutrition. You can see. Big old head. He's a little malnutrition. You can see. Look at the size of his head. He's huge. It's an old fish. All right. There he goes. Happy as can be. Whew. Wow, we did it. <laughs>
All right, we're gonna dock for a minute, and I'm gonna see if I can't just pull out some more fish just standing here so I don't have to get blown around in the wind. So this outlet stream, as I remember, definitely doesn't look spawnable. So, I don't believe I need to crawl down there. I wanna try bobber and worm hover over these uh, boulders and stuff here. Some of this debris. Oh shit, I had one. Damn it. It was an immediate hit. Well, that trip sucked. Everything that went could go wrong fishing-wise did go wrong. It's pretty up here. This this lake is pretty nasty. I'm gonna have to consider ever coming back here. I, the first time I came here, pretty decent fishing, but only one this time. And I'm gonna head home. I did about two and a half, three hours of fishing. I, I'm tired. I'm heading home. Fishing Activinos defeated.